hey guys good evening and welcome back to my channel I didn't upload a video last night we actually had a bit of a crisis in work so I had to work hours and by the time I got home it, yeah I just didn't manage to to get it done but I did go out and do a shop which you will go up, will go up tomorrow and it was for done stores um, and that was myself and Carol went out and did that and I am currently in the airport waiting for my mum and Kerry they're coming up on the bus from Galway <clears throat> they're just stuck in traffic as to be expected on the 22nd of oh 22nd of December what was I going to say yeah so I'm collecting mum mum says to me oh she's oh can we go out and can we go to the the shops when I come up and stuff but the way the traffic is going and stuff I I yeah I, I don't know unless we decide to go out late at night which myself and Carl did last night. We went up to Dunn's at, Jesus, was it half 11 last night? Place was lovely. There was there was a few people doing the shopping, but nothing, no crowds, no, the shelves were all being restocked. So it was grand. So I was thinking I might do that with my mum. She, if she wants to go out to the shops, we'll go out late. I'm not going out early when everybody's out because yeah, just mad. So I finished up in work today we we had a little party in work for the service users which was nice but um yeah a bit mentally drained after it but it was good it was good we had sausages and mini kievs and chips and like loads of spring rolls and picky food and finger food and stuff nice so as i said i'm waiting for my mum i actually am working this evening but they're stuck in traffic in dublin city on the bus so I actually have brought all the stuff I need with me for tonight in case I have to go direct and bring them with me. And um, they can sit in the car for a couple of minutes while I run in, but yeah, I did think ahead. Oh lads, I am exhausted. I got about three hours sleep last night, which wasn't good. It just wasn't good. I am absolutely shattered. So uh yeah. Anyway, I'm hoping these two are in good forms. My house is upside down. I came in today from work and I was like, right lads, couldn't find the socks, stockings, couldn't find the, uh, the skirt for around the tree. Loads of stuff missing. All my Christmas mugs were missing and I knew I'd put them away. But so I pulled out some presses and stuff. Haley's upstairs doing the room upstairs. She's putting a Christmas tree upstairs. Um, we just were pulling stuff apart and rooting because tomorrow, is the only full day I have off over the Christmas that and Christmas Day so it's either get everything done tonight and tomorrow or it's not getting done not that it, I mean my house if it doesn't get done it's gonna get done in January because it has to be done because I'm trying to declutter as we're going but um yeah we'll see we'll see anyway lads I got to go because I've got myself coffee a big coffee here so I'm going to start drinking that to try and keep myself upright for a while. Then, as I said, go home, get dinner, go up to the girl I have to go into work with, and um, get that done. Uh, it'll be about half nine when I'm home, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right, I will talk to you when I get home with Mummy and Kerry. Please, God. Hey guys, it is Saturday. You'll have to excuse my chin. Tony took a chunk out of me with his paw this morning while we were messing. But it is Saturday morning. I collected the girls, as I said to you last night, from the airport. Myself and my mum went out and did a shop in Niddles, which would go up. I'm actually, because myself and Carl did the Dunn shop, and then my, my mum said, will you leave some stuff so I can do it when I come up? So we did that last night. We did the little shop and Super Value. And this morning, which is Saturday, oh, sorry, that just looks so aggressive. Um, which is today is Saturday which is Christmas Eve Eve um, myself and mum got up and went up to Aldi and we picked up probably about three or four things it was nothing but she wanted to go out into shops and she wanted to soak the atmosphere that's fine came home and I said to mum that's grand I'm in for the day now we'll have a grand time Miss Kerry comes down Hello. the stairs and went I have to get Christmas presents Hello. so dumbass there on Christmas I'm Eve fine. Eve we have to go do a shop. Then well, my mother, no, though, hang on. say a shop, it's nothing big and I have a rough idea where I'm going for it. Yeah, so. that's fair enough. So this morning, 
and my mum gets up and I, she was having her breakfast and she was like, I think we'll go up to Aldi today. Will we just have a look and see if there's anything we're missing? So I said, okay, let's go Aldi. I said to her, make sure you eat something because she's a diabetic. I said, make sure you eat something before we go eat. So she says, yeah, she sits down, she goes to eat. And I says to her, you're not taking tablets? And she said, well, I think I've forgotten. I left them all the way back down in Galway. And I just said to her, mom, I'm not being funny, but hell no, am I driving all the way to Galway to grab your tablets? I said, can we try the chemist? So we did go to the chemist on the way to Aldi's. And the chemist down there was lovely. Contacted her chemist in Galway. And her chemist sent up the prescription. They're filling it, but it won't be ready until quarter past four. So we're going to go over to, you have an idea where you want to go, don't you? You want to go to the yeah. chemist anyway. A different chemist, a big, like a gift chemist. Um, so we're going to go over there and then we are going to go collect the tablets on the way back. Yeah. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Okay. So my chin is so sore. I put some stuff on it to help it and it's as sore as it is, it, it will, it's Clean. No, it's clean. That's it's, it. It's a clean you did it with what did you do? You put put I, in alcohol wipe on first just to clear it. Stung like a bitch. <laughs> I know it was gonna. I knew it was gonna sting because I could only see because of the way it was bleeding. I couldn't see how bad or deep the far end was. Yeah. So I was like, well, I need to clean it. Yeah. And then we ran. Oh, gauze. We need to get gauze. Gauze. There was yeah. No gauze. And I had some. So when I went to Spain, I picked up some iodine because that's it, why it looks that's why it looks that kind of ready orangey color is because yeah. iodine really helps healing so i put some of that on cleaned it out and it stopped bleeding which was the main bleeding. thing it actually gave me a fright because obviously i could only feel the burn um of where and we were messing and he put his paw up to swap my hand but away and he just a big dog even if he did it like a gentle yeah. swat there's so oh, you didn't mean we were playing and he just swatted my hand away but yeah. he cut my chin and as soon you know as soon as it happens you feel the burn and you're thinking oh my god and i literally did that because it was burning and I shook my hand away and it was covered in blood and I thought oh shit Christmas Eve Eve I'm and just glad I'm not going out Christmas Day can you imagine going out like this yeah but the thing about um, the iodine is I wanted it to like sit there for a second yeah. and I had to put a plaster up for it <laughs> right okay so <laughs> excuse me explain what plaster you put on me it was neon pink that went into neon yellow in the middle down my face my mother sat at the table and start roaring up. I said, well, you keep laughing at me. I'm going to put you in a home come January. Well, we need to get some transparent ones, I think. Yeah. For your finger, it's fine. Yeah. But for your face, a little... Or if you're two. Or if you're two. But you're not two. And it's on my face. No. Yes. Oh. Oh. Busta. But yeah, so we're going to head out and we'll update you on our en route. All right, guys. Just come out of doing a bit of shopping um, in the chemist for... Kerry had to do hers. Are you finished? Yes. You're finished completely. Good. But while we were there, we decided we'd run into Super Value. It's just next door. And while we'd already parked, we said we'd run into Super Value, see if there was that in Cotter Eye. I got a bottle of martini. Yes. Um, that was all we got. But uh, when I walked in, I met my uncle. I haven't seen my uncle since over a year ago, a year and a bit ago. More. Anyway, went in, was chatting to him. So, uh, yeah. It was nice. It was actually lovely to see him. So, but he was trying to check out from doing a shop. Why he left doing a shop till a Saturday, I'll never know. I think it's because he needed bits. Like when he looked at his trolley, it was just bits. Yeah, it was like bits, he, wasn't it? Was just bits. Um, but all his children are coming over bar one, which is nice because it means they'll have a full house. So he was with like, all the grandkiddies. with all the grandkiddies and all. So, mm -hmm. yeah, be nice. Right, we're going to go. We have to go to an, our own local chemist because I have to pick up. Your iron. My iron. I need to... Uh, Hayley's tablets and my mother's tablets because my mother packed last night or yesterday when she, before she came up and left her tablets. She, <laughs> she spent ages, you know, working the mail all into the, the holder she has that has the days of the week and the morning and PM and all yeah. that malarkey and then left them behind her. So it was a bit of a panic this morning trying to get her tablets. But she got them and I have to go we were both in a panic leaving and then we had to rearrange the suitcase and I think she realised it when... In Galway. In Galway and just yeah. didn't say. But there's no point because it's not as if he's could go back and get no, them anyway. No. So but um yeah. My chin. I had the chemist, the pharmacist look at it and he googled and he said I don't need a tetanus. So no, I told you you didn't need a tetanus. I know, but it just I'd prefer to be sure to be if sure. The I know tetanus is specific like if it's if the wound is punctured. Yeah. It has to be a puncturing wound. Now don't quote me on that, I am not a medical professional. 
but yeah so anyway we got to check out the chemist he said it looks lovely and clean and it looks fine thanks to her nearly killing me with the alcohol wipe but hey ho look she did yeah, the job but he done. did say didn't he say keep an eye on it yeah and if you notice any sign of infection or anything he said obviously you need to go well i would know particularly huh? i'd probably be able to have a better idea if it was but i don't think it will because so i did dirty. clean it out pretty intensely intensely yeah with alcohol on a raw, raw open wound it stung like a fucking Aww. bitch excuse my french and now oh you... holy jesus it was sore <laughs> i actually thought i'm gonna scream i i did i got it to your face and then you screamed so then i went it was just like okay you do it yeah you do it yeah. like oh you did the first one and i did the second one yeah. so. but for the second one you kind of i did it myself yeah. and i just sort of shook and then i put some iodine on it yeah but the iodine, iodine is fine. such a good thing to have and it's the handiest because it doesn't sting half as much as yeah. the alcohol wipes but you do have to put it on a clean wound that's the only yeah. thing well i didn't mind once i did it myself i could feel it like i was i was fine oh, yeah. once i got that. over the initial sting the pain was bearable but yeah. jesus did it sting <laughs> Woo! as the, the nurse used to say to me if it's not stinging you're not cleaning it properly oh but that, that stung like a so, biggie yeah Oh. I know, see, I have like a and the can. poor dog because obviously when it happened and there was blood coming down my chin I obviously jumped and Kerry jumped and we all jumped and the poor dog ran and went under the table wouldn't and wouldn't come out he kept looking at me just up and then when I did sit down beside him he put his head on my lap and just kept looking up at me I thought oh my god yeah oh um, he broke my heart afterwards even yeah. though he hurt me like let's be very clear here he hurt yeah. me I did not hurt him no but um no, like it was in fairness, if it'd been a lot deeper, yeah. wound, and it's normally close. The, I think it's because your skin, the reason your skin is there is to protect your body. Yeah. You know, so if it's not like a deep wound and realistically, I'd say like if you're like ever, if it's deep and if you're ever worried, you need just to ask. Like, yeah. You're not a fool for asking. No. Because like realistically. And what did you say about that pharmacist that he was a vet as well? Oh, the pharmacist said, oh, it's very funny. He says to me, I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up. He said, it's pity it's not the weekend because the pharmacist who's on at the weekend is also a vet. I thought, well, he wouldn't want to get his two fucking jobs mixed no. up, would he? No, no. <laughs> Jeez. Talk about turning someone off a, yeah. a chemist. Anyway, we're going to go. We're going to collect yeah. this. And we're you got your Remy Mart. I got your, no, your show, show me, me, Mar me Martini. Martini. I, don't think I love can Martini. Show it on YouTube. Oh, can you not? No. I got Martini anyway, Rosie. That's so. your treat for being such a good little girly for the alcohol wipe. So sorry. <laughs> so, I will never forget the pain. Well, I will. But at the moment, I'm not forgetting yeah. the pain. Anyway, we're going to go home. And Kerry, you said you're going to cook dinner tonight. I will figure something out. Yes, I will. Nice. I'm used to cooking for one because I just like. And well, now you got to cook for five. For five, which is going to be interesting. But... See, you have to upscale it where I had yeah. the other problem. Probably I was always scaling. cooking for five and then I went down to cooking for two. But I like, but me and Haley said it's nearly easier to go from one up than to try and go down. Because like we, the way I'd cook is if I, I normally do cook for two. But yeah. I just portion then half it, half everything and that's my dinner. Yeah. Is one half and then my lunch is the other half for tomorrow. So I, that's just how I do it. I, but I've made some really, I made, um, I should have sent you a photo for this. I made a poke bowl for myself. Oh, I think you, well, you were telling me about I it. Was. You were. And you, I had some leftover seaweed and sesame seed from the, one of the Wagamama kits. Yeah. And I was like, Joe, you know what, what can I make with this now? I'm hungry. So I had some pearl rice. So I steam cooked that and got really sticky. Yeah. Made that. Got some tuna. I had this sweet and garlic, uh, chili and garlic sauce, mm -hmm. sweet chili and garlic sauce. Put that into the tuna in the pan with some little bits of veg. Yeah. Had that with some seaweed and sesame seeds on top. Nice. It was delicious. Yeah. Delicioso. Have to say, I'm getting hungry. I'm actually glad, like me and Kerry are like, okay. It's Christmas Eve Eve and we're in the shops and it's stuff. It's always me and you out on Christmas But I Eve. think it's actually nice because we're just sort of arsey around. Yeah. Like we're not, like there's no man panic. Like, no. okay, you had to get some Christmas presents. But even then, if you couldn't get anything, yeah. it wasn't the end of the world. No, but I would feel good about you it. You would have felt bad. I would have felt bad. I don't think... What? I don't know. What? This fella's directing me out. Oh. Here, do you want to hold yeah. the camera? Sorry, the man just came up and tapped I... me on the window and told me to reverse... So I know what I'm doing. I'm just reversing. Yeah. I'm just doing it as I'm told. Engage. Do not engage. Who's not engaged? I don't know. We're just not engaging. I think. I think that's. That's really weird. This is also a very unflattering angle. Yeah. But I can oh. step further. Up. I know. Sorry. 
Um, you hear? Right. I think it's because they're trying to get people out of the car park. I think so. And I but think even just... still, we haven't even been, we've only been here half an hour. Half an hour, 40 an hour. minutes? Yeah, it's really not been that long. No. So, yeah. He just, oh. Lads, do you know what? Today is one of the days I've had a full day off. So I had nothing on this morning and I have nothing on this evening. Now I am back in work tomorrow. But I find I, when I go to bed knowing I don't have to get up, I have no work the next day and I have no work tomorrow eve, like this evening. Yeah. I do be twice as tired getting out of bed. I, I think it's because your body's like, oh, rest. No, it's like, cause it, I think when you rest after being really tired, it's either going to go two ways. You're either going to get up and feel really, really rested after having a yeah. good sleep. Or you're going to wake up and feel shit. Yeah. I don't think there's in-betweens. No. So at the moment, I'm feeling quite tired, quite shit. My mother's gone back for a nap. When I was leaving the house, she went, go I'm for going for a nap. I thought, okay. And we're going to venture to the pharmacy now. We're going to the pharmacy. I'm going to pick up everyone's tablets, Haley's, yeah. Kerry's and my mum's, so they don't die over the Christmas. Yeah. So, not to use a die without your tablets. But we will update you later, because yes. we're, we're kind of in a... Bit of, it's not traffic, it's just very heavy. It's just the there's a lot of traffic moving. Yeah. But we'll talk to you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. Okay, turn this thing off. So, this is the type of day we're having. I have no regrets. Do you knock on the lights? No. <laughs> so Does anybody have a hair bobbin? No. Oh, oh, oh. Sending signals to aliens. You are one lazy biddy. Should give a royal wave, Kerry. Give us the royal wave. <laughs> Alright guys, Christmas Eve. And we are just about to have our picky dinner. Which Hayley has spent the last hour and a half slaving over. With Carl, I may add. Yeah. With Carl, he did help. But he mainly was wrapping gifts. He, oh. he was keeping me company, really. And now Kerry has entered the kitchen. I have. She's on a charcuterie board. Because it's more stylistic than cooking sometimes. And bacon. We have a fancy little knife for pate. 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 And we have a... Uh, right, so hang on a second, hang on. Right, Hayley, do you want to talk us through what we're cooking in the kitchen? So right now, I have a list actually, guys. I'll show you it. So the ones were hot are stuff that can be microwaved. We decided not to do the potato and the ones with numbers are stuff that had to go into the air fryer. Right. And the time and everything. So right now we just put on the mini sweet chili volavon. Okay. They were on. We finished the barbecue pork belly bites. They were the first things on because they took like a half an hour. Okay. And then we did some fish fry burgers, which are like a uh, fish fry burgers. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have a like a selection of like dumplings. Okay. Which is already done on the table. So the next thing we should do after Kerry's done with the charcuterie board is these five mini pizzas. Okay. Not festive, not five, more than five. We have There's four eight. margaritas, two char grilled turkey and cranberry. Ooh. And two pigs in blanket. I'm very curious about that one, personally. And it's always called. Aren't you love? <laughs> so that's, we have two trays of these. They're going to go on after this is all done. We have the sauces here heating up. They're going to go in this cute little dish grandma bought up for mom. Thank you! Look at the size of the little Spoon. And then Kerry's going to do the charcuterie board. I am doing meats. the charcuterie board. So I'm just Cheese. folding over some of the ham. So like this ham, I don't know what it is. It's not the salami and it's not the prosciutto. It is... Don't make it look too fancy now. We all want to devour it. Yeah. Copa! Copa. Copa. So it's just because it's a thin meat, it can be difficult to pick up. So if yeah. you just kind of like fold it in half. And then again, you just get like a little kind of like uh, bits, like they just corner so you can pick them up easy. Yeah. I'm very curious on what other people in the world eat for Christmas Eve. Yeah. Because we've always done very pecky stuff. We've also always done party food. Party food, and we've pecky always stuff. Done kind of like a Mediterranean-ish type. Yeah. Like but that's because when you were small we used to go into town and stuff. Mm. Yeah, and we'd well. get something in town and then coming home you would have this and then you would start getting ready for bed. Yeah. And it was just picky, it wasn't too heavy. Because excitement on Christmas Eve not mixed not with heavy food. No. It's you dead yes. To me. But also it's we can actually eat more because yeah. it's less. Mm. You know, and not because it's less we're still hungry for breakfast in the morning tomorrow. Yeah. So well we're already food. having a lightish breakfast in the morning. Mm. Lightish. Yeah. Carl is making his waffles. 
Oh yeah, that's true. And we're doing, <laughs> he's just grinning over there. And we're gonna do... Well, they know he doesn't like being on yeah, camera yeah, at all. Yeah. And they don't, we do... just hear his voice in the background. <laughs> and we're gonna do hash browns as well. Yeah. And maybe a few bits of like an Irish breakfast, I think. No, I think we'll scrambled eggs, waffles, toast. 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 Fruit. We don't want to, because last Christmas... We went a bit heavy. We went a bit heavy on the breakfast. I and we made ourselves ill. No, you made yourself I ill. I made myself ill. Okay. We were okay, oh, but we did. We had soup and stuff, and then we didn't have a big dinner because no. we were still full. But well, I think what I, what I want tomorrow, because I've got a lot of uh, berries, I'm probably gonna have a lot of fruit. Yeah. Tomorrow, maybe some. I don't know fruit mainly. I think with my waffles. Okay, right. I'm going up to Haley. Haley, what would you like? Just would you like to wish people happy Christmas? I was gonna say a happy birthday. Ooh, happy Christmas. Uh. Be safe, don't go crazy, it's Christmas, okay? Uh, be healthy in the new year, I guess it's more of a new year wish. Yeah, we'll do a new year. And yeah, enjoy yourselves, don't have too much fun. Don't okay. do what she wouldn't do. Yeah, not a lot. Kerry. Happy Christmas everybody. Merry Christmas. It is the season to be jolly. Cha la 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 Right, so these are the jackfruit bow buns here. These are the mixture of dumplings. This here is the pork belly bites, which look like people have already been eaten out of them. And they are the fish buns. So that's the start. I will show you when it's complete and on the table. All right, guys, so we're in here watching. What are we watching? Joe Pickett mm. on Paramount. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And the girls and Carl are in there cooking something. Something. <laughs> we don't know. Well, I showed you, but yeah, we're just leaving them at it. So we're in here. So how are you doing, Mummy? I'm fine. I'm great. In good form? What? Are you in good form? I am. I'm always in good form. You looking forward to Christmas? Yes. I love Christmas. You do actually, don't you? Yeah, I really do. You I always did, this. actually, in fairness. Yeah. So, anything you'd like to say to people? A happy Christmas, and I hope you have a healthy and peaceful New Year. Short and to the point. Yeah, but what else can what you else say? What else can you say? Mm -hmm. All right, lads. We're going to go and see if we can salvage some food. Yeah, it's getting very late. We're starving. We're starving. <laughs> it's half eight. I've come in from work, by the way. So it's half eight and uh, yeah, we mm. came with the smell though when you walked in the door. Mm. I think it's those um, pork belly buns or I don't know what pork they... belly things, bites. So, mm -hmm. right, I will show you when it's all laid out on the table and we're about to eat if it's any time soon. Mm. Carry me. Carl. Okay guys, so this is the mini pizzas, the dough, dough buns. Bow the buns. bow buns, the chicory board. Ch chicory. Chicory board, so we have pate, brie, uh, obviously crackers, and then different types of meat. Lovely, that looks gorgeous And that's actually. the pate, nice. Can I just say, that's that looks call. divine. Cucumber for Carl. Dumplings. Dumplings. Uh, <clears throat> stop shaking my hand, Carl. Chili, sweet chili oh. chicken bites. Yeah. Uh, some extra mini pizzas. pizzas. And these are fish bare ones. Bit burnt. Bit over, not burnt. Not overdone. burnt. Crispy. Yeah. So yeah. Well oh, that looks good. absolutely divine. And these are just sauce. Can you tell me what Carl's blue drink is? This is a like extra. Smurf. <laughs> Smurf. Blended, blended you blended smurf. some Smurfs. This is like an extra hydration drink. It's like a, it's like a Lucas A Sport but blue. Oh okay. That's how I would describe and it. And what sauces are there? Yeah that's a curry sauce. The brownishy, orangey, yellowy one. Yeah and what's the other one? I think it could be a type of soy. Teriyaki sauce? Hey, can I just borrow this? Oh, okay. Lovely. So that is my tea tonight. Well, good evening, guys. It is Christmas Eve and I am in my office. We've just had a feed to eat and I'm up here to wrap presents. I've not got one present wrapped. So, yeah. It's 20 to 10 and I'm only starting wrapping. I should be finished just after midnight, I say. But uh, that's looking very aggressive. I am, I'm not, I don't enjoy wrapping. It's something that has to be done. But this morning, why can I tell you? This morning, myself and Kerry, when we got up, Kerry turned around to me and she says, um, the present I got for Hayley 
isn't what I ordered and I need to get her a present. Now this was Christmas Eve morning. So this is, I was going to record some of today, like a good bit beforehand, but we ended up having to jump in the car at half nine this morning, fly up to um, a toy store and try and look for a present to replace the present that she thought she was getting. So, oh yeah, sorry, just getting my hair done. So I'm in from work. I am absolutely exhausted. Well, I'm not exhausted in fairness. I'm not, I did go for a nap this afternoon. So I'm not exhausted, exhausted, but I'm not bouncing full of Christmas spirit either. Like, but I am looking forward to tomorrow. Um, I'm going to wrap here and then before I go to bed, I'm going to go down and throw my ham on into the slow cooker and let it go overnight. So that is the plan. So lads, I am going to end the vlog here and end vlogmas here and I really hope you enjoyed it I know towards the end I did miss some days but that was work related and I couldn't be helped but I really enjoyed your company all through vlogmas the comments everything I absolutely loved it absolutely loved it I will be back after Christmas um, Christmas on a Monday so probably the Wednesday or maybe the Thursday Thursday and Saturday I think I might do a couple of vlogs see how we're getting on should we see if that happens if that happens i'll vlog it if it doesn't we'll take it from there and see what happens but guys i want to wish us all such a merry christmas and a peaceful day and remember it is only 24 hours you know um if you're struggling through it it's 24 hours can't be any longer can't be any shorter but um yeah thank you for your company throughout vlogmas really enjoyed it sorry tony's trying to break down my door to get in I, do you hear that banging that's the dog trying to get in but i really enjoyed it i hope you did and i hope you have a great day tomorrow and i will talk to you soon take care guys Bye bye